Okay team, welcome back to another day. We've done our squats. We're gonna move on to now another big compound movement, the deadlift. So, contrary to popular belief, when you do this correctly, it is a phenomenal movement for the whole body. Now, primarily, once again, it is lower body dominant, although we are gonna be using muscle groups in the upper body, as Nick's gonna demonstrate in a moment. Now, we've got a conventional deadlift, which Nick is gonna demonstrate first, and then we also have a sumo, which is a wider stance deadlift. The conventional deadlift being more posterior chain, working the hamstrings, the rear of the body, the glutes, etc., and the sumo deadlift being a little bit more anterior focused on the quads. Now, choose a variation which you can stick with, and make sure week to week, guys, you're trying to bump up that weight. Keep the form, keep the quality, and try to go up in two and a half to five kilogram increments on these smaller, or should I say, on these bigger compound movements versus the bench press, which might be a little bit less in the increments, just to keep that progressive overload and try and build on that strength and muscle mass. So Nick, take it away, show us a conventional deadlift. As we can see here, we've got an underhand overhand grip. We can do double overhand, whatever you're comfortable with. This will give you a little bit more grip strength. And again, we're driving through the floor. We're trying to push the floor away. We are using primarily our hamstrings. We're keeping the chest high, the chin is slightly tucked. And at the top of the movement, we're driving the hips into the bar, squeezing our glutes tight. As you can see, dead lift. Guys, Nick's taking this from a dead position. He's not bouncing it, he's not swinging it. He's using excellent form. So as we can see, guys, Nick's keeping a neutral spine. He's not rounding the back. He's trying to break the bar. He's keeping his scapula retracted. He's snapping his legs at the top of the movement, driving his hips into the bar, but he's not using his joints, he's using his muscle groups. That top of the movement there is a glute and hamstring focused. He's taking the slack out of the bar at the bottom by driving his feet into the ground, controlling it on the eccentric, lengthening the muscle, and then powerfully on the concentric, squeezing the glutes at the top. Nice and controlled, guys. Keep the quality on these movements. They're high risk, but they're high reward when you do them correctly. Beautiful form, Nick. The conventional deadlift, guys, is a simple movement and a very one, a very good one to build strength when done correctly. We want to make sure that the back is safe at all times by keeping the core tight and engaging the lower body. Okay, so Nick's going to demonstrate now a sumo deadlift. So as suggested, we have a sumo stance, so a wider stance, driving through the heels. The toes are a little bit out. Now this time we're taking a little bit of pressure off the rear of the body. So now we're going to be driving more quads. This movement is a little bit easier on the lower back. Perhaps if you're very tall, you're not experienced, you can't quite do a conventional safely, a sumo might be for you. One thing to note as well as we can see here, when Nick's coming to the top of the movement, he's getting his hips, engaging his glutes, quads, or lower body into the bar. He's not leaning back. He's keeping the movement short, concise, and quality. Guys, if you do this correctly, you shouldn't feel any lower back at all. It is primarily lower body dominant, but as we can see, his core is working, his arms are working, his shoulders, his back. It is a full body movement, even though primarily lower body dominant. Okay guys, once again, if you can't complete the deadlift safely or correctly, or you're not quite there yet on it, feel free to use an alternative like we did with the squat. Nick's gonna demonstrate here with kettlebells, which we can do. A good gym will have kettlebells. You can also use dumbbells, or you can use what we call a trap bar deadlift, which is set, you step in the middle, does change the dynamics of the movement a little bit. It puts the weights towards the side of the body, was a little bit easier on the lower back. It helps keep that neutral spine. It will teach you the motion of the deadlift without putting the weight directly in front of the body, especially if you're not quite there yet. You can start with something like this and then you can slowly progress safely into using a barbell and slowly progressing into heavier weights as you go. Once again, guys, I can't emphasize safety and quality enough. If you wanna maximize your workouts, the muscle groups that you're working and your longevity, as well as guys, we've gotta remember we're short on time, we wanna make sure we're always looking at quality over quantity. And with quality, quantity will come tenfold.